Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to sit on praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Um, um This is your brother, Kabash Kabash, coming at you with another lesson from the um, from um, Fort Lauderdale. And uh, today I want to get into Yahweh Shai is our Redeemer. Yahweh Shai is our Redeemer. Okay. Now, when you go into that word redeem, it means compensate for the faults. Or bad acts of something gain or re regain possession of something in exchange uh, for payment okay and you know in the Old Testament we went off okay we went off and we came out of Egypt went off started worshiping other gods and you know uh, started doing stupid things disobeying the laws you know uh, so we needed a redeemer okay and Yahweh Shai was that redeemer. He was that one who was a sacrifice. Um, he was that lamb, that worthy, worthy lamb to be sacrificed for us, you know, for us to be uh, brought back to the to the heavenly Father. Okay, um, let's go to the book of First Peter. Um, the book of First Peter, um, eighteen. First Peter eighteen, for as for as much as ye know that they were re not redeemed. Sock your brothers. Um, let me re re uh, re um, read that again. Okay. First Peter 18. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible crowns, as silver and gold, for your vain conversation received the tradition from your fathers okay now when you go into that word corrupt it means having or showing a willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain okay all right so we, we were not bought by a corruptible crown we were not bought uh corrupt corruptibly okay yahweh saw was that clean lamb he was that clean sacrifice okay um okay and uh he came for the nation of Israel okay he came for the nation of Israel let's 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 prove that okay he was the redeemer Yahweh was our redeemer okay for the nation of Israel It will argue, I got I gotta share something with you. I'm sorry for um I was I got kind of stumped on reading um first Peter because I just saw like you know how like when you see a chariot and you saw you see like a stream of light, a dot, then a stream of light just flash, and at the corner of my eye, I just saw one. Like literally. I don't know if it's my imagination, but it I just saw one. And I'm in my apartment right now, you know, I'm in my apartment right now. So that's why I was freaking out because I saw it, it looked like a chariot from the corner of my eye. I'm like, what, what? And it threw me off. So Salakia for, you know, I, I got kind of stumped up on that. But, you know, the water y'all have about shimmy, y'all shy. That just comes to show you, man, chariots, man, they can shrink, they can expand, go fast, go slow. And while I'm on this, man, uh... That's the spirit. I'm going to get back to how Yahweh Shah is our redeemer, but let me, I got to get this off my chest. Today, um, I saw a chariot today, actually. Um, it's always in the same spot. Like, I live in Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale. Now, when you look to the west, there's always this bright, bright object. In the west, like I'm facing the west because I live out east, and I had a pickup uh, not too far where I live at, and you know I I dropped my client off, pushed them in the, um, they were in a wheelchair. I pushed them in a the nursing home or whatever, and then while I was coming back to the um, bus, um, uh, I noticed the you know the bright object sitting in the same spot where it's always sitting and you know so I, you know walking back to my bus i was tucking in my pants and just happened to look and 
I saw it move, but I've never seen that object move. But through the spirit, I always knew it was a chariot. It was moving slow. They kind of maneuvered a little bit. And then I saw like another light leave, leave that object and go somewhere. Like it was very, 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 very faint. But the um but the object that was in the sky was very, very bright. But I saw another light that was very, very faint go south. You know, it was headed in the south uh direction because I was facing west and it went left. And if I'm facing in, if I'm facing west and uh and it was kind of complicated, but the, the the light just went south. And I was like, wow, I've never seen that bright light move because through the spirit, I always knew it was a chariot, but I never seen it move. Like it is just appear out of nowhere in the same and in, in not really the same spot, but in that same lo around that same location. And now I, with me just seeing this a bright light, like what it seemed like a little light just go past me my eye from my peripheral vision I wasn't really looking in that direction I was like looking at my phone and I just saw this light at the corner of my eye just you know it's ah oh man so that's why I was kind of startled you know I got kind of startled there a little bit but wow okay let's get back to uh Yahweh Shai is our redeemer okay um okay uh, let's go to the book of Matthew. Um, Matthew 1. And we're going to go down to verse 21. It says, And he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay? For he shall save his people. Okay? And then when you go into um, Hebrews 7 and 14, what if you're paraphrasing, it says, Yahweh Shai sprang out of Judah, the tribe of Judah. And we, you know, and Judah was the head tribe, okay, of, of, of the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? So he came for his people, all right? As a matter of fact, let's, let's just get it, you know, Hebrews. Hebrews 7. All right, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident our, our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which Moses spake nothing concerning a uh, priesthood. Okay, so it's evident that the, that Yahweh Shai sprang from the tribe of Judah. Okay, he is the redeemer of, for the Israelites. He's not the rede redeemer for the heathen. Okay? He's not the redeemer for the heathen. He sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Okay? Which makes him an Israelite. And he came for the nation of Israel. He died for the nation of Israel. Okay? All right? Um... Let's go to the book of Matthew. Uh, the proof that he came for the, that he's the redeemer and came for the nation of Israel. Let's go back to the book of Matthew. Matthew. Uh, Fifteen. Oops. Matthew 15, starting at 21. Okay. Then Yahweh Shah went thence, departed into the coast of what, Ty, Ty, Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered 
heard not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she quieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of, of the house of Israel. So here you have a woman here, you know, um, that came out of the land of Canaan. Okay, so she was a Canaanite. Okay, and Yahweh Shah told her that he only came for the lost sheep of Israel. Okay, he he he's on he he says I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of Israel. Okay, which as you know, this is another thing that uh uh precept that proves that Yahweh Shah came for the Israelites. You know, if she if she was a uh, Israelite, you know. Yahweh Shai, uh probably would have been more quickened, would have been more haste to help, to help, you know. Um, let's keep reading. Verse 25, then she, then she came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meant to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs, you know. So he was like roasting that woman, man. You know? But let's keep going. And he said, and she said, truth. So she, so she knew she was a heathen. Yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. So she knew that the uh that this was the man of the Lord. Okay? Then Yahweh Shah answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee. Even as thou wilt, and her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Okay, so this verse here proves that Yahweh Shai did not come for the heathen. He did not come. He was not. He's not the redeemer for the heathen. Okay, but since this woman had such great faith, there was an exception for her. Okay. All right. Um. Let's go to the book of Matthew again. This time we're going to go to uh, the 10th chapter. And we're going to start at the uh, second verse. Now the name, okay. Uh, actually, we're going to go down. Um, okay. We're going to go down to verse 5. Okay. Um, these 12... These twelve Yahweh shall sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not go not into the way of the Gentiles, okay, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go whether to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? Now did if 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 if, if uh if he if if Yahweh Shai died for everybody, he would have said it. He would have said it. But he said in verse 5, go not into the way of the Gentiles. So he's not, he's not, he, he did not come to redeem the Gentiles. Okay. Alright. The uh he did not come to save all the nations. He just came for the um, lost sheep of Israel. It says, but go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Okay. Um, let's break, let's go, let's keep going. That's the spirit. Let's keep going. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. You know what? I'm just going to use this. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Ah, come on. Phone be adding up sometime. Okay, let's let's see here. J E R E M A I A H. Okay, Jeremiah thirty-one. Ah, my spelling. Okay. Let's go to the index here.
Okay, J E R. J E R. E M I A H. Okay, here we go. All right, Jeremiah 31. Okay, Jeremiah 31, um, verse 1. At the time, saith the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Okay? All right? So, again, Yahweh Shai said he will be the Lord. I mean, uh, the Most High said he will be the, the God of the families of Israel. He's not going to be the God of of the other nations, okay, all right. So Yahweh Shai. So if if you if who the person ignorantly calls God, if he said this in uh, Jeremiah, and Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High, who do you think uh, Yahweh Shai came for? Roughly well, paraphrasing, it says, "I I I come to do my Father's will." I forgot what verse that was. Um, I forgot what verse that was. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. Um, okay, let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Okay, the book of Ezekiel. Okay, E Z E K I E L. Okay, the book of Ezekiel. Um, book of Ezekiel. Let's see here, thirty six. Ezekiel. 36 and 16. Okay. Um, 36 and 16 through 20. Okay. Uh, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way. And by their doings, therefore, their way was before me as the uncleanness of a woman. Wherefore, I poured out my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land for the for their idols, wherewith they had polluted. OK, and then it says, I scattered them among the heathen. Okay, they were dispersed through countries, through through the countries according to their way and according to their do, uh their doings. I judge them. Okay, so it says when you go back at the uh, Ezekiel seventeen, it says, "Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way." And by their doings, it says they, it didn't say everybody of the earth. It says they, a certain group of people. Okay. All right. Now, when you get down to verse 19, it says, I scattered them, I scattered them among the heathen people who are not Israelites. Okay. And they were dispersed through countries. Okay. According to their way. All right. So that talks about, um, you know, how uh, the people were lost sheep. They got scattered and dispersed. So Yahweh Shai, he came back for the lost sheep of Israel. He didn't come back uh, for everybody. Okay? He didn't come back for everybody. If that was the case, he would have said it in scriptures. All right? Okay, Akim Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Shalom and all praises and glory to Yahweh.
Ba'ashim Yabashai, Ba'ashim Makakadash Barakatham. Shalom.